Hey guys, it's Evan here and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at my amazing Spider-Man 1 replica web shooters created by Mark Poon. So let's go ahead and get on into this. Now in case you're wondering where you can get a pair of these, you can get them in one of two places. Either on Mark Poon's RPF thread, which tends to be the more popular place, that is where I bought mine, or you can sometimes find him selling them on eBay. Um, I'll do my best to provide his eBay account down in the description below. Uh, he doesn't always sell them on eBay, it just tends to be, I think, what he has on hand at the time. Alright, so here we got both sets of web shooters laid out, and as you guys can see, um, although they are both facing, you know, the forward direction, they are both inverted. Now, why is it done like this? Well, because these web shooters are essentially mirrors of each other. Uh, if you've never noticed that little detail in Amazing Spider-Man, uh, there you go, something you know now. And the work that Mark Poon put into these things is absolutely insane. Everything on this is uh, custom machine parts, uh, the leather bands are custom, and even uh, the web shooter itself, uh, all of these are custom metal machined parts. There's the microchip in there, this here is a red bingo chip, and all of this comes pre-assembled, uh, except for the uh, red chip here, which is really easy, you just glue it right in and it stays there, it's ready to go. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about this is these are not just a, you know, normal static prop. They have light up effects to them. Yeah, isn't that cool? Um, and the way these are kind of designed, um, here I'll show you really quick. So that snaps off and you see it has this little uh, trigger right here. So you just kind of press that and there we go. It's lit up. And the way that this was kind of designed to work was if you press very lightly on it, so it doesn't actually click but it just kind of presses, it will light up the web shooter and kind of give that effect of when Peter is shooting off a web as you flex your wrist like this. And I will show you that uh, pretty soon here in the video. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is the only one that lights up at the moment. My other one does not. Um, I believe what happened at one point was I accidentally, you know, put it down somewhere. It got turned on. It kind of just stayed on and burnt out the batteries. It's something I'm going to have to replace. It's a really easy thing to do. I just have to find the right batteries and the time to do so. But luckily, this one still works. This one still lights up. So let's go ahead and give you guys a closer look at how these look when they're actually on my wrist. Alright, so here's a much closer look of how the thing looks when it's actually on me around my wrist. Uh, as you saw before, there are the three pegs. I'm usually able to have mine um, all the way closed. Um, that's the tightest it has because I do like these being pretty tight around my wrists just so they don't slide around too much. And obviously you can tell they look just like the movie web shooters when Peter's wearing them. All right, now I'm gonna give a very quick example of how the uh, light up effect works. Now it's not always the easiest thing to make happen. Like I said before, it's why I tend to keep the lights off on these web shooters most of the time, just kind of use them as a static prop. All right, so I just kind of hold it like that and when I flex my wrist like that, and it kind of pushes down on that button, it makes the whole thing light up, which is really, really cool. And I mean, obviously this trick is pretty gimmicky. It's not something you're gonna use all the time, but it's really cool that Mark Poon thought to put that sort of a thing in, um, not just leave them as the metal, but also, you know, have electronics in this and have it light up just like the movie Web Shooter. Anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, if you're looking to purchase a pair of these, I've gone ahead and thrown the links where you can possibly find them down in the description below. And of course, if you wanna check out more of my works, I've also thrown my social media links down there as well. And if you want to see more of my stuff here on YouTube, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it with your friends, I don't care what you do, just check out more of my stuff. I like putting out content for everybody. And of course, I hope everybody is staying safe given the current world situation. It sucks a lot, but you know what, we're dealing with it, and you know I'm trying to make YouTube videos, so you know, trying to make the best with what we got, right? Anyways guys, that is it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay frosty, wash your hands, and I'll see you all in the next video. I'm gonna just do this, we'll stick it out and then just flip away. If only I had some sort of after effects.